in any direction to try out your escape dribbles. It's I'm the golden champ, gotta get it right now. Hey, hey, I work, I grind you know for it. it now it's my time. You know now it's my on. time. Now it's my time. Hey, now hey, it's my time. Hey. Now it's my this step. When I go home, give it your all, boy. Put my city on the map. I'm going hard, boy. This step. I came too far just to give it up. I came too far just to give it up. Trying to find my way, but I keep, uh, I keep throwing back. Learning from mistakes, but I keep, uh, I keep learning that. Lifestyle ain't good for me. This jewelry don't mean nothing to me. This child's playing. I'm a man. It's time for you to understand exactly who I am. Starks. I done came to the top. I come from the bottom. And ain't nobody stopping me but me. And ain't no I inside the team. And ain't no I inside the team. And it's only you and I. What are the eyes of me? Looking through the...
Cali hustler. Get it by all means. The people know whenever they need, they can call me. For the green, we rushing. No, not my style. I'm talking quick, fast, in a hurry right now. Can't be a victim. Can't fall short. I just want to be a baller with my own ball court. California hustling. You see his son playing his first NBA game. I know I shouldn't be focused on this, but I still can't believe that Grandpa's not here right now. It just doesn't feel right. It's okay to feel that way. I miss him too, but you know, Grandpa would kick you behind if he knew you let him distract you like that. <laughs> you gotta put that on the back burner, huh? Yeah, you're right. Now listen to me. There are gonna be a lot of people in the here tonight. But you and I both know what you've been working for all these years. Greatness. I don't care about the hype. Most of the people talking, they don't even believe what they say half the time. But me and you believe. Man, what do we believe? If I could be one of the best players that ever played this game. Yes, sir. That starts tonight. Check out these free kicks that we're hooking you up with. On behalf of Adidas, I'd just like to wish you good luck in your first NBA game. Not that you need it or anything. <laughs> we're all real excited to see what you do out there. this since I was six years old, so I'm ready. Okay, so that's why they say what they say about you, huh? Can't miss a legend at 19, the next GOAT. <laughs> yep, keep going. <laughs> Look, just don't try to prove it all at once, right? Look, you got the all-NBA upside, clearly. So you only need to show flashes right now. Coach, I'm trying to show my full potential. 
That's the competitor's mentality, and I get that. But just remember that it's a long process, MP. As long as you tap into what makes you great, we're all good. No one is expecting a fully formed MVP on day one. Loud and clear, coach. Great. So, go out there and have a little fun. Hey, you know I will. And he is the focus tonight. The entire NBA ready to watch this man, MP. After all of the talk, it's time for MP to take the floor. A chance to prove how great he can be. Welcome, everybody, to the day we've all been looking forward to. The start of a new NBA season on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and we've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony at the table with me. And the fourth member of our crew, David Aldridge, our sideline reporter. And now the Lakers starting group. Vanderbilt and Davis man the post box. The wing pairing reads with LeBron. And it starts in at the point guard. And for the Nuggets, underneath in the post, it's Gordon and Jokic. Sharing the wing spots, it's Caldwell Pope and Porter. And it's Murray in at the point. And Greg making his debut, MP coming from a long line of NBA players. And Kevin MP, the son of Prince, a longtime Clipper and Mad player. And don't forget his grandfather was Truck, another pro player who played back in the 80s. So MP, the latest member of the family to make his NBA debut. It'll be Los Angeles off the tip. And Greg, when we tip off a new season, it's not uncommon to see some nerves or even sloppy play. No doubt. I mean, as a player, you put so much time and effort into preparing for the season. Sometimes emotions can get the best of you, and it can take a little time to settle into a game. Reminding defenses that they have to respect his range. MP took it real confident from deep. Caldwell Pope outside. Six on the shot clock. Reeves with the rebound. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. They set the screen. Vanderbilt finds MP. And another three for the Lakers. And he's just playing smart basketball. Once MP finds a look he likes, that guy does not hesitate. Greg, no secret, this Nuggets offense revolves around the two-time MVP, Nikola Jokic. He's the driving force, no doubt. But, Kevin, they've done a good job surrounding him with the right kind of players, guys that can defend, shoot, and play without the ball. Now here's James, following the miss by Jokic. The tray. And another three for the Lakers. And you think about the hype and expectations surrounding MP. Craig, the shoe contract and endorsements lined up from day one. And Kevin, the classic look of Adidas appealed to him. Those three simple lines, and lest we forget, a lot of dollar signs. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Stolen by Gordon. 
Murray scanning the floor. To end the run, Anthony Davis grabs the miss. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And here's MP for three. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. Taking a look at some stats here for Caldwell Pope. Last season's performance for him averaged about 11 points a game, two assists, and two rebounds. And most of all, you have to love the defensive grit he brings to games when he comes off the bench. Absolutely. Just when you think you've got a good flow going as a score, he'll come and shut your water off. And the foul called on MP. And that's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team back. No problem. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. On the wing, Gordon. Six to shoot. Can they get it? And it's Murray laying it in. And that's an important basket there. The game was in danger of getting away from him here early if they let that run go on much longer. Now, here's Vanderbilt. And Davis puts it in. That's inexcusable defense. You must put a body on Davis or you will pay for it. Time to go courtside and hear what's going on with MP. Thanks, guys. Well, from all accounts, the anticipation is huge as people get ready for MP to get started here tonight. David was one of the most highly touted prospects to enter the NBA since LeBron. You can imagine the excitement and pressure he must be thinking about at this moment. Every great journey starts with a first step, and we'll see MP's first step soon enough. Guys? Yep, plenty of hype for sure. David, thank you. And the Nuggets making a change here. Najee's checked in, and Los Angeles making a change here as well. Russell's checked in. Pass to Gordon. Outside, Porter jacks up a three. Buries the long-range jumper. And a smooth shooting stroke off the catch. Porter clearly excels in those situations. Vanderbilt finds MP. And it's Russell in the corner. Back to MP. Three-pointer. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes in it. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. Now here's Porter. Off target with his three. Here's Starks. The shot will not fall. Murray with the defensive effort. And the ball goes out of bounds. Touched by MP. Big group substitution here for Denver. Jokic, he's checked in for Aaron Gordon. Christian. Los Angeles with some changes. Vanderbilt. Comes in for Christian Wood and starts to sub in for Vincent. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And I've really liked how they've moved the ball tonight. Because of this selfless approach, they are piling up the assists. So the Lakers five right now. LeBron is in the front court alongside Hachimura. Russell is out there with Starks. And it's Vanderbilt in at the five, roaming the paint. Russell kicks to MP. Passes to James. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Count 
that bucket. James has got his first basket of the night. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Jackson from long range. LeBron grabs the miss. LeBron's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And talking about LeBron James, Steve, he still is on the hunt for more championships. Kevin, that hunger is still evident. He's all about finishing his career on a strong note, which includes winning as many titles as possible. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. From outside the arc, good and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got three assists tonight. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes. When it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. LeBron with it. Guarded now by Jackson. LeBron kicks to MP. And the pass to Russell. High arcing shot. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. Denver's got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. 0 of 4. Takes it off the glass. Caldwell Pope's got his first bucket in this one. That's the leadership they're looking for from Jackson. Staying patient, surveying the court, locates the open man. And here's MP for three. That one misses. He has made seven of his nine field goal attempts. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Jackson passes to Jokic. Here's Brown. James cover. Here's Jokic. Jackson, that's a two-pointer. And it's Gordon finishing it off. And offensive rebounding, really about timing and positioning there. Gordon using both to burn the deep. Timeout called the Lakers. And the Nuggets with some changes. Zeke Naji, he's checked in for Jokic. Michael Porter comes in for Christian Brown. And it's Jamal Murray in for Jackson. And then for Los Angeles, Davis is checked in for Rui Hachimura. Torian Prince comes in for LeBron. And it's Austin Reeves in for Russell. Caldwell Poe pass to Murray. Down low. And then Gordon with the dunk. And you think Murray all about scoring, but Murray is about what helps his team win. Back to MP. Misses the layup. I mean, you got to appreciate the aggressiveness, but you also have to recognize the situation. Here's Murray. And that one hits back iron. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. from deep he can't get that one and so it's Los Angeles controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20 point lead the scoring has been tremendous and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy back right after this Welcome, everybody. The story tonight has been a solid showing through the first half for the Los Angeles Lakers. And you have to admire MP's confidence as a rookie. Chip off the old blocks. Both his dad and his granddad had great belief in themselves. The difference with MP, he's one of the best prospects we've ever seen. First game in the NBA, you're going to have some nerves, but now the opposition is feeling some nerves because they found a way to stop him. Every possession, he's looking to make a play. Yeah, MP's unselfish by nature, but he's also not shy about taking over when it's needed. And looking now at that first half of action, quite a big deficit for the Nuggets. Kenny, Ernie, they are getting destroyed on the glass, as we all saw. Listen, sometimes it's about effort, passion, and it feels like they're lacking. You know what? They need you out there, dude. Seriously. 
You could give him 10 minutes right now off the bench, couldn't you? Yeah, for 300 million a year. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. And, and the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter. A lot of threes early on. He's been vital to spacing the floor for them. Makes everything else you want to do easier to accomplish. Smitty, who are some of your favorite teammates during your 14 years in the league? Kevin, there's so many. Glenn Rice, Dikembe Mutombo, Ronnie Cycli, Kevin Willis, Stacey Allman, Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, and the list goes on. And we'll go courtside now to hear more about what's going on with MP. Thanks, Kev. The debut of MP tonight has turned into a festival of sorts. Celebrities have lined up to see the next big thing make his debut, and it's been the hot ticket. Of course, MP's father, Prince, will also be one of the familiar faces in the crowd. Let's see what kind of show MP puts on. Guys? Yep, he's got family here. Hoop fans are excited for this game. Everything is in alignment. David, thanks. Sharing the wing spots, it's Caldwell Pope and Porter. Underneath in the post, it's Gordon and Jokic. And it's Murray in at the point. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. And the mid-range seeming effortless for Murray. He's got a touch that makes that shot a good option for him. And here's MP for three. That counts. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. He is single-handedly carrying this team right now thanks to his terrific scoring performance so far in this game. Murray, no good. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And when you're on offense, Steve, man, you have got to keep your eye out for Jared Vanderbilt on the other side because he will swoop in and get you. That's where he makes his money, Kevin. He's so good at reaching those long arms in and poking the ball away. You better be alert. The three from MP. Another miss by MP. Denver's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Murray against MP. Murray down low. Jokic sets the screen for Caldwell Pope over LeBron, and Caldwell Pope gets the basket. Caldwell Pope's got his second basket of the game. Yeah, and a knifing into the middle. Caldwell Pope, not just a perimeter threat. A young fella can elevate. LeBron passes to MP. LeBron kicks to MP. Lakers working the ball around now. Los Angeles with another miss. The Nuggets trail by 21. Caldwell Pope outside. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Caldwell Pope's got seven. And the three-pointer, a big part of KCP's game. About half his shots come from out there. Pass to Reeves. MP outside. For three, it's good from long range. MP's got six here in this quarter. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Jokic finds Caldwell Pope. Now Porter from past the arc. LeBron grabs the miss. James has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pass to Reeves. MP with it. There's a minute 47 left in the third. Let's the three fly. Good, another from three. He's scorching hot, another three. And he's approaching the franchise record for threes in a game. We know Greg L.A.'s challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their stars. And they're looking for that perfect fit. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. It's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there. In the corner, Vanderbilt with it. Back to MP. For the three. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. 
and they have been relentless from deep. And, and you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Christian Woods checked in for Vanderbilt. Hachimura comes in for James. Vincent's checked. He's checked in for Denver. Caldwell Pope right, comes in, in for Murray. The Lakers also making some changes. James comes in for Anthony Davis. And MP, he's subbed in for Gabe Vincent. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Taking a look at Los Angeles. LeBron is in the front court alongside Hachimura. Starks is out there with Russell. And it's Wood in at the five. And again for three. He's got this defense scrambling, and even when they've got two guys on him, he just finds a way to create space. And he's making some team history. He just tied the franchise record for three-pointers in a single game. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. It connects again from distance. And this parade of threes has no end in sight. He just keeps knocking them down. Oh, and that latest triple ties him for second for the most threes in a game. What a monster he's been from deep. And he's tied Curry's mark from 2016, which was the top spot for threes in a game for a short while. It's been that kind of takeover display that we've seen here tonight. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Jackson with it, and Hachimura picks him up defensively, and stolen by MP. Over to the wing. Now Hachimura. And here's MP for three. It's Reggie Jackson with the rebound. Pulls up on the wing. Brown's shot is off. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. They have a 19-point lead. He kicks it to MP. From the arc. Again, the miss by the Lakers. On the wing, Jackson. James defending. And the foul called on MP. MVP. And that'll be his third foul so far. Denver calls timeout. They're behind by 19. Denver calls timeout. A minute 50 left to play here in the fourth. And the Nuggets with some changes. Gordon's checked in for Najee. Michael Porter comes in for Christian Brown. And Murray's subbed in for Jackson. And then for Los Angeles. And Anthony Davis is checked in for Wood. Vanderbilt comes in for Rui Hachimura. And it's Austin Reeves in for D'Angelo Russell. Pocket six. Pass to Jokic. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Vanderbilt's got four rebounds in this game. Starks outside. Fires for three, and again for three. And of course it falls for him. That three pushes him into the history books. Well, he is now tied for the most threes in a game. This is a night we will never forget. In all those great shooting performances from Clay Thompson, well, this night belongs right there with him. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. And as we head to the final, good, another from three. And that is a three that will put him in the record book. A historic performance by a historically good shooter. One of the best games anybody has ever had. 15 threes for MP, passing that record from Clay Thompson back in 2018. An all-time performance. Boy, how lucky are we.
launches it. It's hauled in by Gordon. Here's Denver now. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. MP against Murray. Gordon with a screen on MP. Bob pass to Gordon. Up high to stuff the alley -oop. Out of nowhere, Gordon just soaring in there. And that athleticism carries him straight to the hoop. MP outside. Shoots the three. Can't get it to fall. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easy. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Greg I'm here with MP, who has just set the record for the most three-pointers in a single game. MP, first of all, tremendous performance. Thanks, Jamila. Now, when did you realize that breaking this record might be a possibility? Uh, I didn't think too much about it, but um, when I had 10, I think, my teammates started telling me to shoot. <laughs> they wanted this record more than I did, to be honest. But, you know, it's a team game, so uh, I'm going to do what, what my guys ask within reason. So what's next for you after a performance like this? You know, same thing I always do. Get back in the gym, uh, do some film work, rest and recovery. You know, come out ready for the next one. Sounds good, MP. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Everybody, but we're gonna try to do this in an orderly fashion, all right? Uh, why don't we start uh, right over here? Gary Carson, local news. MP, this was the most anticipated rookie debut since LeBron James. And even with all that hype, you blew away expectations. Your box score numbers jump off the page. You outperformed guys like Michael Jordan and LeBron James in their first games. Is it fair to say that you're on your way to becoming one of the next all-time greats? Uh, most guys in the league think they've got that kind of ceiling. I mean, why else would you work this hard? But Michael Jordan isn't Michael Jordan because he had a good first game. He's MJ because he won six chips, five MPPs, nine all defense. My ceiling's sky high, bro. I mean, but of course, I want legendary status, and I won't have it until I start winning chips. It's that simple. Uh, next question. Thank you. Uh, right over here. Lena Becker, Sportbild monatlich. Wie fühlt es sich an, dein allererstes NBA-Spiel zu gewinnen mit Fans, die auf der ganzen Welt zuschauen? Lena Becker, Sport Monthly. How does it feel to get your first win in an NBA game with fans watching all around the world? <laughs> um, getting the win is huge. Hey, wherever fans of this team live, I want to make them happy because that's what it's all about. Um, gelling as a team, winning games, and giving the people who support you a reason to be proud. Danke. Thank you. All right, we got time for one more. Uh, you, sir, in the back. Damian Patterson, City Free Press. What does it mean to you to be a third-generation NBA player, following in the footsteps of your father Prince and grandfather Chuck? Uh, 
um, it means a lot. Yeah. I mean, you got to respect where you come from. And I come from a line of guys who got basketball in their blood. <laughs> but the most important thing to me right now is representing these fans and uh, the city and bringing them the championship they deserve. As much as I love my dad and miss my grandpa, I play for the name on the front of the jersey, not on the back. Thank you. Next question. Uh, right up front. Parfait, merci. Beatrice Corbet, la compétition. Votre maillot est le maillot le plus vendu en France en ce moment. Avez-vous un message pour vos fans français? Beatrice Corbet, the competition. Your jersey is the number one selling jersey in France at the moment. Do you have any message for your French fans? <laughs> Man, love you guys. France is awesome. I went there to help promote my first shoe deal and I fell in love with the country. I mean, there's so much beautiful history there, but it's also very modern and forward thinking at the same time. I'd love to go back someday and spend some serious time there. Uh, thank y'all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank y'all. I'm proud of you, MP. Hey, you should be. I'm about to do something special with the family name. No? Level it up. You talk real big for somebody who just was crying as they dropped their uh, Ninja Turtle in the toilet. Pop, that was like 12 years ago. I'm a, I'm a grown man now. You can't even rent a car. <laughs> That's why I got you. Uh-huh, and you're lucky that you do. Hey, I appreciate it, Pop. You're here to keep me on track. Uh huh and you know what the goal is. Greatness. That's right. Oh, uh, speaking of, you know who this guy is. Yeah, what about him? just updated his all-time goat list. Says that you have a chance to make it to the top someday. For real? Mm -hmm. Take a look. So with all this talk about MP being the best prospect since LeBron James and Victor Webanyama being a generational talent, it got me thinking about my all-time GOAT list. Now, if you are new to the pod, you might not know that I have a passion for ranking the legends. I've spent a massive amount of time researching their careers, and I placed them into five tiers of greatness. You can find that list on my website, by the way. Now, I love working on my GOAT list, but these guys are so legendary that they tend to stay in the same spot year after year. So I decided to add a new tier called the Got Next tier. This tier contains some of the younger guys in the league who aren't quite GOATs yet but who, if they continue on their current trajectories, will almost certainly be in that discussion when their careers are over. Now, you may be wondering who's in the got next here, so let's get to it. These are in order, by the way. Luka, Embiid, Tatum, Zion, Webinyama, and of course, MP. Now, a lot of you might be like, you know, I put MP behind Webinyama, but they're basically tied if, you know, as I see it. And if MP distinguishes himself early on, I'll be happy to swap him with Vic. So let me know, what do you think? Is there anyone who should be on the Got Next tier, but isn't? Is there anyone who is there, but shouldn't be? Hit me up on social, we'll talk about it. These are the kind of people you want on your side if they're gonna call you the ghost someday. Oh, come on, Pop. Media doesn't matter. It's all about winning games. Yeah, you're wrong. You need to understand how these people see you. I wish I would have played the game when I was your age. Like, all due respect, Pop, I'm not like you. I'm not gonna make the same mistakes you did. I spent the best years of my career in losing situations because winning organizations didn't see me as someone that the head screwed on time. Because you didn't, though. Not at first, okay? But when I was with Dallas, they gave me a shot. Could have been sooner if I had played the game. <sighs> all right. Son, you're trying to do something that nobody's ever done before. And when you do it, believe me, you will do it. It's gonna be no question who the goal is. Flamethrower coming through. <laughs> Everybody look out.
Jordan me? Wow, MP, <laughs> what's up, man? What's up, bro? How you what's doing, up? Fam? It's all good. Not bad, bro. Uh, oh, and you are? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm Young Wayne, man. I MC the games got here. It, got it. I just got a little excited when I saw an NBA star at Sunset Park. I lost my cool for a second. It's all good, bro. So, uh, let me know what we got going on here. Is this like a uh, rec league or? Well, I mean, kind of, sort of. We got a tournament we run at the yard. That's another court in the city. But if you want to play in that, you got to start here. All right, so what we doing? How's that work? OK. We got a bunch of teams that hoop here. All you got to do is challenge one of them to a game to get started. We got a list of captains on the wall. Check out the wall, man. Uh, OK, OK, I see. So listen, man, no one here is looking to make friends. But if you can beat these guys, you'll earn their respect. You earn their respect, they'll hoop with you. You get enough of those guys to hoop with you, you can bring them to the point. You do the same thing at the point, and you can play in the tournaments at the yard. And it sounds like a lot, but it's pretty simple. Nah, nah, I got it. So I can hoop with whoever to start, or? Actually, no, I didn't say that. We pick your teammates for the first game. But like I said, once you start winning, the guys you beat will be willing to play with you. All right, let's get it. They here now? Oh, yeah, they're always here. Hey, yo, Tom, John, get over here. Hey, Wayne, what's uh, going on? Oh, does somebody want to play with us? <laughs> I knew today was going to be my lucky day. <laughs> hey, y'all, it's not anybody. NBA superstar. Tom, John, meet MP. MP, meet Tom and John. You get to what play up, with up? MP. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, Tom, John. what's the highest level you guys ever played at? JV! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Tom and John! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> I never said it'll be easy. JV, like junior varsity JV? Yeah! You yeah. he he got it. He's he good. He's, He's it. good. He's good. All right, cool. We can handle this. I know you can. And like I said, challenge anyone on the board and they'll give you a game. Just make sure they don't shut it down on you. All right, so, uh, wait, what does that mean? <laughs> You'll find out. Or, you won't. Either way, good luck. Cool. Uh, Y'all playing in those? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm playing. All right, all right, cool. Well, follow me. Listen. Cool, right? Yeah. Listen, just just follow my lead, okay? This is gonna be good. Y'all play here. Okay, okay. Who's getting ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sunset Park. Let me hear you. Yeah. Young Wayne on the mic. And we got three on three to delight. Sick beats all game. Courtesy of Cole Mills. Let's get it on. With skills abundant and talent for days. How high is the limit? for this young player. Let's hear it for M.
gotten shots on this court. Justice will be served by five home. right now. 